Hello friends, uh, I welcome you all in this session. In previous session we were discussing about how to reduce duration of a project using free float method and we were solving this particular question. So, let us continue with that question. So, what we have done so far is we have calculated critical uh, paths in this network and we have found two critical paths. Uh, the slopes are here for this particular path and for second path the least slope is for activity 3 5. So, what we should do? We should uh, select activity 1 2 and 3 5 for compression right and uh, our direct cost will increase by 40 rupees. Why uh, there is no need of going for test step because crash limit is 1 right and, and let us look at how uh, the duration of this project uh, gets reduced right. Three, four, five, and six, right. So, we have to reduce duration of activity one, two, and three, five. So, this is now two, and this is two star, right. It means we cannot reduce it further, right. For activity three, five, three, five is this. In fact, uh, what you should do, you should you should calculate free float for for uh, uh, this network also. But let us uh, ignore for the time being. If required, we will calculate, right? So other durations are same: seven, four, four, seven, four, four. This is six and seven. This is six, right? Let us see what is the effect of these two changes in this network, right. So, T here is 0, T here is 2, T here is 6, T here is 6, right. T here is 10 from this side and from this side also T is 10, this is now 17, right. T e here is 17, right? T is 17. Let us look at T L values 17, 10, right? T L would be 6 here, T L would be 6 here, T L would be 2 here, and T L would be 0 here, right? How many critical paths? Let us look at critical paths here, right. So, this is your critical path, this is another activity and this first critical path, right. Second critical path is this, right. So, you have got two critical paths. Let us look at uh, their slopes. So, critical paths are so, you got two critical paths, critical path first is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 and second is 1, 3, 5 and 6, right. Slope, of course, you know slope. In fact, there is no need to write for activity 1, 2 because we have exhausted that, but even uh, for, for, for simplicity, let, 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 let me write, right. So, 20. 40, 20, 40, 40 and 30, crash limit of course, this is now 0, 2, 2, 2, similarly for this, and this 30, 20 and 30, crash limit is now 1 here, this is 3 and 3, right. So, this is what we have uh, obtained and the duration is now. 15 days, right? Uh, 17 days, right? And uh, let us look at uh, what are the uh, which activities you should select now for crashing. 
now you have to take a decision to crash uh, this particular project if you look at uh, this this particular uh, these two paths here uh, 1 2 4 5 6 and 1 3 5 6 uh, when you reduce 1 2 and 3 5 the cost will reduce by 40 rupees right but if you take this common path 5 6 then the cost will increase by 30 rupees so rather than reducing 1 2 and 3 5 we should have reduced common activity 5 6 so common activity is 5 6 so uh, do not select 1 2 1 2 and 3 5 select common activity 5 6 and uh, redu reduce its duration by one day and uh, before uh, reducing this uh, duration by one day let us calculate free float of uh, non critical activities also so free float would be 18 minus 315 minus 7 8 right here 18 minus 7 11 11 minus 6 free float is 5 right so we have selected what we have selected activity 5 6 for compression right so this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right so these are different nodes right So, these durations will remain as it is 3, 6, 7, 4, 5, 4, 6 and this will come down by 1 day. In fact, uh, you should do one more thing here. Since you are selecting, since you are selecting 5, 6, and its crash limit is 3 right its crash limit is 3 so you need to go for test step before before reducing it by one day right so let us go for test step let's see because in this part of the board we are doing test test steps right so test step this is one 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 right. So, this is 3, this is 3, 6, this is 7, 4, 5, this is 4, this is 6, and this is 6 right we are going for test step why we are going for test step here because crash limit is more than 1 right and we will see how the reduction in duration of 5 6 by 1 day affects non critical activities right so let us find out t and tls for this question this is 0 this is 3 T at this point is 6, T at this point is 7, right? 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 4, 11, and this is 11. This is 17, right? TL 11, TL 11, TL 7, right? And at this point, TL is equal to 3, and TL is equal to 0 right 
let us find out change in free float of non critical activities. So, these two are non critical activities right. So, non critical activity 4, 6 let me write numbers also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 right. So, let us find out free float for this. So, 17 minus 7, 10, 10 minus 6 this is 4, earlier it was 5. Free float here is 17 minus 3, 14, 14 minus 7, 7. So, if you look at these two free floats I will come down earlier this was 8, now this is 7, earlier this was 5, now this is 4. It means that when we reduce duration of activity 5, 6 by 1 day free float came down from 5 to 4. If we had reduced it by 2 days it would have come down by 3. If we had reduced it by uh, let us say, so for every 1, one uh, unit reduction in 5, 6 this is coming down by 1 unit right. So, had we reduced it by let us say uh, what since we redu reduced it by 1 day it has uh, it has become 4. then had we reduced it by 2 days it would have become 3, 3 days 2, 4 days 1, 5 days 0. So, had we reduced this duration, this the, uh, the duration of this activity by 5 days it would have become a critical activity right. So, let us uh, now take a decision for how many days we should compress this right. So, for this let us look at there is something called free float limit and free float limit is is minimum of minimum of what these two 8 and 5. Do not look at the reduced free float limits look at the earlier limits right. In fact, the same thing we did in uh, earlier test step also right. Uh, this was the free float initially this was this got reduced to 1 and we had looked at this. So, crash free float limit was 2. Since free float limit of this did not change we, we considered only free float of this activity which was 2 right. Since here you got you are uh, you know these two free floats have come down right. In fact, these two free floats have come down here 8, 5 now 7 and 4. So, we will take the earlier free float limits. So, minimum of these two is 5. Crash limit, crash limit of 5, 6 is what? 3, right? This 3. So, compression limit, compression, compression limit, compression limit is minimum of these two, minimum of free float limit and mini and crash limit. So, 3 and 5 minimum is 3. So, compression limit is 3. So, now we should take a decision to reduce uh, this activity by 3 days right ok. So, this is now our final decision right. So, what you can do you can directly reduce it by 3 days right. So, let me write it here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 right. So, this is 3, this is 6, this is 5, this is 7, this is 4, this is 6, this is 4 and this would become 4 right. So, we have decided to reduce it by 4 days right, uh, not by 4 days up to 4 right, because crash limit is 
okay so calculate uh, all these values t here is 0 t here is 3 t here is 6 t here is 7 t here is 11 t here is 15 right and you can in fact do one more thing since you have achieved crash limit for activity 1 2 and for this also right so you can put a star over here right so tl 15 tl 11 tl 6 tl 0 and of course tl is 3 here right you can do in fact uh, uh, reverse uh, calculation right so all these activities are in this direction right so t is 15 right and critical paths are this is your critical path so again you have got two critical paths right so now this is your uh, network and you have reduced activity 1 2 and 5 6 to their uh, fullest level right now what since you have got two critical paths here critical path you have got 1 2 4 5 and 6 and you have got 1 3 5 6 1 3 5 and 6 find out slopes and crash limits right so slopes are 20 40 20 40 then again 40 40 and 30 right this 40 this 30 right for second critical path the slopes are 30 20 and 30 and crash limits are it's 1 it's in fact we didn't uh, you know uh, consume uh, the total crash limit of 1 2 right uh, still there is one more day left right so this is 1 for 2 4 this 2 2 for 5 6 we have consumed for activity 1 3 this is 3 2 and 0 right right so what to do now shall, shall we go for test step and which two activities should be chosen from this critical path choose activity this right least slope and least slope here is there any need of going for test step here no because crash limit is 1 right why we had gone for test step here because crash limit was 3 for this particular common path right so we will reduce activity 1 2 and 3 5 so activity 1 2 and 3 5 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so let us look at activity 1 2 this is now 2 and 3 5 3 5 is this 4 right and uh, 1 3 will remain same 6 this is 7 this is 4 this is also 4 this is 6 this is 4 right so we have reduced again activity 1 2 which was 3 here now 2 and 3 5 which was 5 here now 4 let us look at 
all T is and T L values. T here is two. T here is six. T E here is is two plus four six, right? And this is ten. This is fourteen, isn't it? Let us calculate T L values. So T L here is fourteen. T L is fourteen. T L is six. T L is six. T L is two, right? And T L here is T L is T L at node one is zero, right? Now, which are critical activities? Same. So this path, this path. right so these are critical activities now uh, there are two non critical activities let us find out their floats so this 14 minus 2 12 minus 7 free float is 2 free float for this is 14 minus 6 8 8 minus 6 2 right so free float here is So fourteen minus fourteen minus two is twelve. Twelve minus seven five. Right. So free float is five, and for this activity, fourteen minus six is eight. Eight minus six is equal to two. So free float is is five and two. Right. Now let us again look at uh, which are the activities to be selected for. compression right so you got critical path is equal to 1 2 4 5 6 and 1 3 5 6 right so you got slope just write down slope values so you got 20 40 40 and 30 right and for this you have got 30 20 and 30 crash limits are 0 2 2 0 this is 3 1 and 0 right so which two activities should be selected for crashing for 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 for, for compression this is the least slope here but we cannot do it right so this is gone right now you have got only one option right select 3 5 from here and any of these two activities so either you select 2 4 or 4 5 1 and the same thing because cost will increase by 40 days 40 rupees in each of these two cases right so since crash limit is one here is there any need of going for test step no right isn't it so let us select activity 3 5 and 2 4 right you could have in fact you could have selected 4 5 also but since this is the first activity let us do it right uh, so let us select 1 3 sorry 3 5 and 2 This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right. So what we are doing? Let us reduce duration of activity to four. Two four is here, right? So this is four. So make it three. And three five. Three five is where this. So let us make it three five, right? So make it three. right all others will remain same right so this is 2 6 2 this is 7 7 this is 6 right uh, this is 6 this is 4 and this is 4 right 
let us find out critical path and for critical path you just calculate T and T L values. So, T 0, T is 2, T is 6, T is 5, T is 9 right and T is 13. Again T L, T L 13, T L 9, T L 6, T L T L at this is 5, T L is 2 and T L is 0 right. Critical path is, critical path is it will remain same right. So, critical path is this. right. Now, which two activities should be selected for uh, comparison, but before this let us also find out free float limits of non critical activities. So, 13 minus to 11, 11 minus 7 this is 4. So, free float is 4 and for this activity 13 minus 5 is 8, 8 minus 6 is, is 2 right. So, free float for activity 4, 6 is 2 right and uh, let us uh, select activities for uh, compression right. So, what to do you have got uh, two critical paths here. So, from here we will we'll write critical paths here right. So, for this network right. So, critical paths are 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 and 1, 3, 5, 6 right and their slopes and crash limits are this is so slope slope is is 20, 40, 40 and 30 for this slopes are 30, 20 and 50 this this is 30 right now what we need we need crash limits right crash limit so crash limit let me write crash limit and then we'll stop here so crash limit for this is of course for this this we have already exhausted it for this this is 1 for this this 2 and for 5 6 also we have exhausted and then you have got for this this is 3 and for these two other other activities we have already exhausted right. So, now what to do we will uh, uh, select one of the activities from these two critical paths for reduction. So, we will continue with this example in next session and uh, uh, I hope that uh, you would have understood whatever I have uh, done in last two sessions. Of course, it is very, very, very complex method, but once you know this method, you can do uh, uh, problems like this in, in short time if you even if you write computer programs, right. So, thank you very much for watching this session. Thanks a lot.